Given that the SpaceX Starship is the largest rocket to be developed by humans, any news and updates about this engineering masterpiece is received with lots of excitement. As you would expect, the SpaceX founder and CEO Musk is the man that breaks the surprising news to the public. So what is the big news about the SpaceX Starship rocket? Will SpaceX finally deliver this project? Let us find out in the course of this video. If you are keen on space news, you will notice that most of the SpaceX updates are made by none other than Musk. There is a reason for this. Besides being the SpaceX CEO, Mr. Musk has a big influence that comes in handy when disseminating news. For example, if you check through his Twitter account, you will see he has a massive following of more than 180 million people, and he is followed in a distant second by Barack Obama, who has slightly above 131 million followers. With such a great following, Musk does not need the mainstream media outlets such as CNN, BBC, Al Jazeera, or Fox News to help him advertise his company or publicize his message. In any case, social media is more effective today in the dissemination of news than the traditional media houses. You will agree with me that you get to see breaking news on Twitter before it is broadcast by either CNN, BBC, or any other mainstream media channel. In this digital age, most young people know that Twitter is the real deal when it comes to spreading of news. By the way, Musk is not just the most famous person on Twitter, but he also owns the social media platform. With that, you know, understand why any news that he posts there will easily spread like wildfire. As an enthusiast of space and rocket technology, there is every possibility that you know that the aim of the SpaceX Starship is to ferry people from Earth to Mars and back. Silicon Valley billionaire Musk surprised many when he revealed that it is possible for the Starship to be deployed for intercity travel around the globe. Musk echoed the same when he said, if you build a ship that's capable of going to Mars, what if you take that same ship and go from one place to another on Earth? We looked at that and the results are quite interesting. If this idea is actualized, it would be a big win for global transport, since the Starship will travel to any place around the world in less than one hour, traveling at a maximum speed of nearly 17,000 miles per hour. A trip from New York to Shanghai, for example, would take 39 minutes down from the current non-stop time of about 15 hours. New York to London could be done in 29 minutes. L.A. to Toronto would take just 24 minutes, London to Dubai in a mere 29 minutes. It is only logical that Musk's hypersonic rocket travel will succeed if it assures the travelers of uttermost safety and also have a competitive transport package. Musk has hinted that the cost per seat in the hypersonic rocket will be equivalent to the amount that one pays in an economy class in a commercial aircraft. The cost comes as a surprise, given how expensive space projects can be. But as a tech genius, Musk has always found a way out even in the most challenging projects. As an engineer, Musk turned the rocket business upside down when he managed to make the SpaceX Starship rockets fully reusable. But how did he achieve this? Musk's vision, coupled with SpaceX's innovative engineering, rigorous testing, and risk-taking approach, led to the development of reusable rockets. The journey began with designing rockets capable of guided re-entry, a stark contrast to the traditional expendable method. This feat was achieved through the creation of multi-purpose engines. These engines not only powered launch, but also allowed for trajectory adjustments and landings. With successful landings under their belt, SpaceX pushed for a fully reusable system. This necessitated advancements in both design and materials. A critical innovation was the development of lightweight, heat-resistant materials for the heat shield. This breakthrough addressed a major hurdle, which is the intense heat and pressure encountered during re-entry. The path wasn't solely paved with technical challenges. Financial and logistical hurdles also needed to be overcome for economic viability. SpaceX tackled these challenges through heavy investment in research and development, coupled with strategic partnerships with government agencies and private companies to share the financial burden. Through sheer persistence, dedication, and a willingness to take calculated risks, SpaceX defied expectations and achieved the seemingly impossible, reusable rockets. This innovation has the potential to drastically reduce spaceflight costs, paving the way for a future filled with further exploration and advancements in space.
After achieving a fully reusable rocket, the SpaceX team seeks to increase their manufacture of more Starship rockets by opening of the Starbase factory. Located in South Texas, Starbase stands as a pioneer, the world's first true spaceport. It's the nerve center for SpaceX's next-generation Starship program, housing both the rocket factory and launch facilities. Nicknamed the Gateway to Mars by the space community, Starbase is poised to be the launching point for humanity's first crewed missions to the Red Planet within the next decade. The Starbase facility is under continuous expansion to support Starship development and future launches. This could involve building new launch pads, storage facilities, or expanding existing structures. As the development of Starship continues, the SpaceX team of engineers are working on a star factory, where they will focus on producing many Starships per week. The production of more Starships means more launches, which will certainly lead to a greater success. When the Starbase is fully operational, humanity can be assured of achieving the status of a multi-planetary species. Under Musk's plan, his SpaceX company will be making the first uncrewed mission to Mars in 2026. Three years later, in 2029, he expects to land the first human on the Red Planet. If everything goes according to plan, he will use the next 20 years from 2030 to 2050 to build the Red Planet to a state where it can comfortably support human life. After finishing the construction in 2050, Musk will use the next 10 years to transport people to Mars. According to his estimates, more than one million people would have settled on Mars by 2060. Whether Musk will ever achieve this ambitious goal, it will remain to be seen. From our end, we can only wish Musk the very best. What are your thoughts on Musk developing the hypersonic rocket travel that will move from any place around the globe in less than one hour? Feel free to share your views in the comment section below. To this end, Thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss out on the latest SpaceX news, upcoming launches, and behind-the-scenes insights. Till next time, guys. Cheers.